<clears throat> so I did something tonight that I felt was um, I don't know if freeing is the word. So, what I ended up doing I wrote letter um, it wasn't really a letter it was a um, I guess the best description would be that it was a suicide note but I had no intentions of committing suicide at least tonight. I thought about it. You know, I, I think it goes through our heads quite often. Um, I don't know if everybody feels that way. I don't feel like um, it's like a constant thing, but I feel like it's definitely gone through my head. Um, especially with like my health and everything. I think a lot of it is, is like I get sick of being sick and sometimes it just seems like, you know, it'd just be easier. <laughs> but, um, What I did, because then uh, I went out with a, a friend of mine and we went uh, for a bike, a, mo a motorcycle ride, right? And um, I just had a friend um, that was in an accident and his girlfriend uh, unfortunately uh, passed away. And that was, I found out when I was home, I went home and visited for like five days or whatever. And my stepdad told me about it, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, no way. And so, of course, you know, then trying to figure out, make sure he's okay, start praying. And, um, yeah, so I had been waiting probably, like, four years for my motorcycle ride, right? Like, I'm... my bad. Um, I like to, to go once in a while. I think it's fun. Um... So my buddy was like, hey, you know, what What are you doing? And I was just planning on going to the store and looking for a, like a poof ottoman. Probably just go spend some money I don't have on stuff I don't need. Um, and I was going to maybe go out on the boat with uh, another friend. But then I, I don't know, like, I'm sorry, like, I've been waiting for probably like four years from my motorcycle ride like I was ready so um I was thinking about it last night and I was like you know and I feel like uh like it's like a will right uh, so I went through and I wrote down um what I would say briefly I, I didn't I didn't put a whole lot of time and I probably spent about 45 minutes to an hour because I was pretty far behind when I was supposed to meet up uh, with my friend to go so um I got so into it well then we were sitting you know sitting on the bike and all of a sudden I was like I totally forgot to mention somebody right and I think it was more of like, I just didn't want that person to feel left out of my life because they were a, a pretty huge, what did I don't say huge, I mean, they were like an influence. Uh, um, and so I was like, man, I forgot about that. Right? And so like, then you start like rethinking and, and it was really interesting because then I had... Uh, I, I, like I said, I had decided that, um, you know, I wasn't going to live in fear. And if I was going to go out and if I, if for some reason it was my time to go, okay. Right. I mean, any day, you never know. Um, but I was like, all right, I, I don't know. I just, I'm, 
I'm a little sad, like I'm frustrated. It's been on my mind with all this lately. And um, you're just really thinking about like what I would say. And I was like, you know, I should just write out a note. And, and the fact that I rushed it, <laughs> I think it was like my first mistake. Because I was like, oh, I should probably, you know, put that person first or put that whatever or said more, or, you know, and then I didn't say everything. And then it was just kind of like, man, all right. Because I feel like you're making, like, that last statement, right? Like, like what I said to my nephew. And I was like, well, if I'm being fair, or if I, you know, I don't want one to feel left out, or I don't want to, I mean, it was, it was interesting. Um, and, like, what my last words would be to somebody that I... I had to, to leave my last words to. And you want them to be good, right? Just like when you meet somebody who is not a Christian or whatever, like that's your opportunity to plant the seed, right? Um, so you have that like, that that ability, that moment, and you're like, I gotta, I gotta make it count. Well, like I said, like, what I wrote down and, like, looking at it and reading it, like, yeah, but not really, you know? And then, like I said, the people that popped in my head after that I didn't include, and I was like, dang. So, it was interesting. Um, I know it might come off uh, by me saying that, that, like, I'm not in a good place and that I might need to seek like psychological help or something. That's not the case. Um, I, I did this because I feel like I'm in a transformation in a season and I'm, I'm growing and I'm shifting mentally and emotionally. I'm discovering what's important in my life. Um, you relive the mistakes you make constantly and, and I don't want to keep making the same mistakes. So I'm like, I need to figure out what I need to do to stop <laughs> making the same poor mistakes. Um, and so you start to reevaluate some things, right? Well, um, it just kind of popped in my head and I mean, yes, like I said, I, I, like I said, right in the beginning, like, yes, I've thought about it. Uh, but God also freed me from that um, a few years ago. So, like, it's not really, like, an issue. I just, I mean, everyone will die, right? And when you, when you see people around you um, pass away, especially people that are, are close to you in age, like, it, it's something to, to kind of you know, consider like you could, you could die at any moment. And it just kind of makes you think about your life and like, what would you say? Or what, you know, what would, again, what would you want your last words to be? If it, you know, if this is, you know, your family, you, you want to explain to them why or, or whatever, if you were to do, if you were to say, you, you know, you were to, to do it yourself or, or if you were to leave. And I literally, the way I made it out is if I didn't return home. Um, or if there was, there was a time where I wasn't here anymore. Um, and, and then it just kind of went into, you know, if I did die. Uh, to which family member would I anticipate they would take because I, I like stated I was like I wasted so much money on junk and clothes and stuff and and then I'm like you know you might like this decor you might like these clothes like you know somebody take them I don't know do something with them like I obviously didn't and you know I think about like the donating of it and whatnot yes of course but um like I think about too uh so say you've got like a family member and say they want something say they wanted something that was like a, a memory of you and fine take it whatever you want or need to remind yourself of me or whomever you know if, if that was the case 
um, to really, I guess, to, to state that as in, um, I feel like you might like this, but you would probably want something else. I got a lot of crap. Just scrap, you know? That doesn't mean anything. It just, it doesn't fill a void. I don't wear 90% of the clothes I've purchased. Uh, it's more of a waste of money. And to really evaluate where I've been in life and to consider where I want to go, um, you know, to, to die to oneself, to die to your ego, um, I think a lot of that was very interesting um, to kind of get inside my head and really feel what it would feel like, um, you know, if I was actually writing that for real. And it was hard, I'm not going to lie, like there was, a, there was a part of the moment where it was a little emotional and then there was a part where like my phone went off and it just threw right off the mood and so I was like, okay, get back and do it, like now I'm really thinking about it, uh, okay, this person, that, or whatever the case may be. But yeah, it was interesting. Um, I mean, if you're not of sound mind or you're you're in a place where you feel like, you know, if I wrote this note, uh, there's no going back for me, I don't recommend it. Um, I mean, if you're struggling with something, um, I mean, it could be something so simple as, as, as an imbalance um, or a food you're eating that's causing you issues. Uh, if something, like I said, I mean, everybody's different. Like if you need to see like a doctor or you need to talk to somebody or you need to get out of something or get away from someone or something or stop doing something or, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of drugs and it's depleting the dopamine or whatever the case may be. Like, I mean, there's a lot of different, um, you know, things that could, um, influence or impact or whatever. So, um... I mean, if you feel you're of sound mind and it's something you want to do, it is quite interesting to really uh, see where your mind goes. Um, so, yeah, it, it was interesting. Um, and then, like I said, you kind of really evaluate, man, I've wasted a lot of time on, on people or, or in, you know, wasting money and, and to think about whatever and... Then, you know, I start thinking about, well, if God called me out here, you know, if, if he's got a plan for me, um, I could have messed up too bad or I couldn't have spent too much money. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, yes, I spent way too much money on stupid stuff. Uh, you know, to think about maybe I could have had a house or bought a car instead of, you know, leasing one where you just can't get out of the freaking lease. Like, I don't know. You know, things to consider. And if you're trying to grow and, and become what you want to be and not who you've been and, and really reinvent yourself um, or grow up or, um, you know, you've envied people who did or said or were and, and their good qualities and, you know, you want to be like that or stop doing something, like, you're the only one who's going to do that. Um, I don't know. I... I guess it's kind of like watching a documentary on something and, and really learning something and it opening up your your mind to it. Uh, like I said, I'm not like an advocate for um, writing a suicide note or committing suicide. That's not what I'm saying at all. Uh, what I'm saying is is to really get inside your mind. And again, that that's where I state that if you're not in the right position to do that if it's too hard on you or it's too much or it's too real <laughs> don't <laughs> like don't you know seek seek help and sometimes you turn to people who you think would be help and they're not just you know sometimes it seems scary to seek um like professional i think sometimes you gotta find a you gotta find you know the right one so, the first doctor might tell you what's all in your head. Mm, the other one might take into consideration, and the other one might be really, like, willing to help you. So, uh, you, you've got to, you know, you can try multiple options. You don't have to just stick with the first one, especially when it comes to relationships. Like, don't get suckered in somewhere that you're not happy. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I, I thought it was quite interesting. Um... 
in, in the, the, the ones that did pop in my hands and the one that I felt there was ones that I was like, do I mention them? You know, they've, they've gotten enough of me. They, you know, like, do I mention them? Uh, and then you just start mentioning like, you know, who's close to you. And then you're like, who's really close to me? Who would really care? Who would, you know, who would want to be included in this? There's a lot of things that went through my head. And again, like those last words of like, if I could help you change your life or benefit your life or lead you, you know, to something or Jesus, you know, different things like that. Um or like to, to say thank you or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, it was really interesting. <laughs> I think I, um, yeah, I had posted something the other day about um, how, you know, I've, I've learned said lessons. It's just not, uh, not as easy for me to practice what I preach. And what does it do is I... Saying that as I do, sometimes that applies, right? Um, and then the order that you put them in. I feel like that's super stressful because all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, if I, I put this person in this position, like, are they going to think like I think less of them? Yeah, it was, it was a little overwhelming. <laughs> um, yeah, it was interesting. And... I didn't have a feeling that I was going to to die today. I didn't, I didn't go out, I guess, necessarily with that feeling. I went out with the acceptance of if that was what were to happen to me, I would be okay with it. I, I know I'm going to heaven, um, and if it was my time, it was my time. But uh, I put online, I was like, well... If they can put two and two together and something happened, um, I had said love letters are best written at the kitchen table. And that's where I had written out my note. And and I feel like uh, maybe somebody would put two and two together like, oh, that's what she's talking about. Check the kitchen table. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, it was mentally it was interesting. It was definitely interesting, and I, I like to journal a lot, and so I feel like, um, you know, when you are journaling what you're writing about, what not, and the thoughts inside of your head, uh sometimes it's easier said than done to shut them off, and so sometimes it's just nice to write them down. And then, you know, go back and reevaluate them and be like, okay, like, well, what's the problem here? And, yeah, it just, it was interesting. It was definitely very interesting. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not suicidal. I'm not depressed. I'm not talking about committing it. I'm not, I'm not advocating for it. I'm against it. Um... I'm more speaking, again, on behalf of the psychological aspect of really getting inside your head and stepping outside the box and, and really breaking down um, what's important to you. Uh, if you're trying to move forward in life, like, what is it you, you know, like, to really shed and, and to, to kill off that past, those chains, the thoughts, the the desires, the wants, uh, the things that really serve no purpose. And if you were, you know, to move forward, um, you know, what are the things that, you know, have been holding you back? People, um, clothes, money, greed, shame, guilt, you know, what are the, what are the things that we need to, to let just shut off? and die and, and to let it go and to move forward from and uh yeah very very neat i highly recommend journaling it and when things pop in your head write them down uh yeah look at that a 20 minute video of me just talking 
of course. Are you guys surprised? Uh, yeah, I had a, f a really fun day, though. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are suffering and that have lost loved ones and that, that are suffering with things and, and there's a lot going on and, and we need to pray for them to receive strength and peace and joy and comfort and love and and favor and mercy and just, you know, salvation and a relationship with Jesus. So, you know, if um, you've got some time, just take a moment and, and just pray for those people and a renewed mind, heart, and soul, and, and to be healed of, you know, whatever it is that ails and plagues them, because, you know, this world is miserable, and we, we don't want to, um, we don't want to feel that way, especially, you know, not all the time, and not people who, who don't want to, you know, they're suffering, they don't want to deal with that, that's miserable, so praying for healing and all that good stuff, but, all right, guys, I love you, have a great evening and God bless.